here in the shadow of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Israeli artists getting together to construct a powerful display in tribute to the hostages still being held in Gaza. I know that art is is used for therapy with trauma victims. I know that art is a way of expressing ourselves. And as soon as I came up and decided that we would do it through art, and I'd asked some people who I knew in Israel to give me some suggestions and people who could create it, the outpouring, the amount of people who came up with ideas and wanted to be involved with it was you know, it was amazing. And I think that it is something that's very Jewish. I think that it's very, you know, to be creative. Several art installations constructed here. There's a sketch artist, a tattoo artist, these milk cartons here behind us displaying the pictures of hostages still being held in Gaza. One artist even reconstructed large sized the bloody sweatpants worn by Nama Levy on the day she was taken captive. A lot of people asking what it is, which this is the whole point, because there is no explanation, there is no QR code, there is no banner on top of it that explain you what it is. It's supposed to touch emotions. And as long as somebody, someone feels something, that's the whole point. The location of this event here on Tuesday was kept private until the hours beforehand out of a need for security. Still, many attendees making their way through, including members of Congress and other members of the Democratic delegation here in town for the convention. Almost to a man and woman, they say it's time for a hostage deal to finally get done. And I've spoken with many hostage families. Some of them are very good friends of mine. And they have all said that the Biden, you know, Harris administration has been very attentive to them. And and the fact that there is a deal on the table right now that Netanyahu has said that he endorses and we're waiting for Hamas to give a, a true answer on that uh, just shows how much the administration has been attentive to us. Several of the hostages' families have met with Democratic Party representatives like Congress members and administration officials here in Chicago this week. Unlike the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee last month, it is not expected that any of the hostage family members will get a speaking slot here in Chicago up on the main stage this week. Reporting from Chicago here at Hostage Square, Mike Wagenheim, I-24 News.